Nice cat of the week, Sabrina. Such a sweet, easy cat to love. She enjoys roaming around and does great on a leash. Naps are her favourite activity. Naughty cat of the week, Elliot begs for pets with meows and head boops. Then once you go in, he slaps you with his giant paws. I was not prepared for how big Elliot's feet are. Who had the extra large order of beans? That was the sound of a real slap, by the way. You know I do things properly on this channel. This is from the Instagram of Incredible Cat Sanctuary, Heaven on Earth, at Perry's underscore place underscore LA, which is getting a lot of attention for its nice and naughty Cats of the Week posts. Just a bit of fun, of course. However, I was surprised and delighted to see the huge amount of comments championing the naughty ones, or spicy kitties, for their various misdeeds. Now, every human moral principle dictates we should always favour the nice cats. But sometimes lunatics are more fun. Nice Cat of the Week, Cosette, who is the cute his little striped nose. Cosette does. Naughty cat of the week, Zinny. You can't even see another cat without throwing a tantrum. If I was a cat, I'd be Zinny. Same, Zinny, same. Zinny, like, Alexa, play. I'm the problem, it's me. Lameo. Nice cat of the week, Valentine has been the sweetest girl waiting at the door for pets and letting our caretaking team give her meds. Naughty cat of the week, Fraser. Hugged a staff member a little too sharply. Well, Fraser's just showing his love language is aggressive cuddles. Fraser's gonna give you love if that's what you want. Fraser, never let him tell you how to love. Nice cat of the week, Elijah's opened up and showed the staff how much he loves belly rubs. Naughty cat of the week, Popsicle. Stole treats from Daniel, his blind roommate. Popsicle reminds me of this old Austrian guy I know of. But even with that said, other comments. Popsicle, lol. I like Popsicle. Popsicle needs a plaque. Popsicle's a whole vibe sign of the horns emoji. Nice cat of the week, Quinoa has really come out of her shell and no longer hides when visitors come to the room and even welcomes treats and some pets. Naughty cat of the week, Felix. He knows what he did. Felix so bad, he's good. Kinda love Felix. Stop, Felix is gatekeeping! Nice cat of the week, Indus after breakfast. Naughty cat of the week, Indus before breakfast. Uh, I get it. Nice cat of the week, it's just kittens, just all of them. Every single kitten, angel, baby, cutie pie, adorable fluff balls, pure goodness, and they've never done anything wrong in their lives. Naughty cat of the week, it's barnacle. Apparently a barnacle likes his beds defluffed. But don't worry, Take care of that on his own. Printed out neutral face emoji. Oh, Barnacle. Oh, Barnacle. Oh, Barnacle. Nice cat of the week, Mr. Friendly. His name says it all. Naughty cat of the week, Mini Me. Decided to bolt down the hall and then hide behind a trash can just for funsies. Mini Me's only quasi naughty, if anything, just misunderstood. And sometimes we all want to run out and hide behind a trash can. His only crime was playing hide and seek. Yeah, you, you go, Mini Me. Nice cat of the week, George. Uh, politely asks for more pets by reaching out her paw. Naughty cat of the week's Tom. Wanted to be the only male in the room, so he beat up his roommate to keep the girls to himself. Pimpin' Tom, lol. Shades emoji. Tom has that dog in him. Tom the Rizzler. Tom, you sly man. Tom definitely fucks. Nice cat of the week's Gadget, who will let you hold him like a baby. Naughty cat of the week's Pork Chop. The newest kitty behaviour boot camp member, Master Wayne, who... Just want to watch the world burn. Pork chop knows what's up. I'm with pork chop. Burn the world and eat it. Viva la pork chop! Nice cat of the week's Milo. A perfectly, very good, tiny prince that has been co-parented and bottle fed by our staff. Their review, Milo is the sweetest baby ever. No flaws. Perfection. Angel on earth. I mean, that is ridiculous, to be fair. Naughty cat of the week, Clover. She's perfected that you may be using that a bit too much now. The puss in boot size. But it's only an elaborate ploy to lure you before she attacks. Ah, oh, come on. Clover looks so innocent, I'd go as far as being a guarantor for a high interest loan. Nice cat of the week, our oh, Sabrina again, the sweetest gal who's been very patiently looking for a new foster home. Naughty cat of the week, Charlie. Charlie is the resident badass and frankly just wants you to know it. Ah, oh, my girl did nothing wrong. And if you can't trust Mr. Monster Energy Drinker, who can you trust? Nice cat of the week, Ray, the affection queen. She's still sweet despite recovering Covering from surgery. Naughty cat of the week. Ray again. Eight with too much string and had to have emergency surgery. Well, why do you guys have such delicious string hanging around? God forbid a woman have hobbies like eating string. Nice cat of the week. Luna gives little love licks when you hold and pet her. Naughty cat of the week. Betty became extra spicy after her space surgery and bit her foster mum after not seeing her for a week. Well, hold on a moment. I mean, people do crazy things on drugs. Have you not seen the wisdom teeth videos? Betty 
Betty's not responsible. She was just off the anesthesia. That's true enough. Should we look at some of these quickly? We got time. We got time. My best friend had her wisdom teeth removed. I went over to visit her and she sat up and told me, You know the song where Jay-Z had all the problems? 99 problems, yeah. Yeah. Jay-Z is a pigeon. And Beyonce is a goddamn centaur. I just got my wisdoms pulled two weeks ago. I told my parents I was going to run away to the mountains and train to become Batman. I tried to congratulate the surgeon on a successful surgery with a handshake, but I kept missing his hand. My mum said I did this over 50 times times. I spent the whole ride home talking about how I felt like a squirrel and wanted to go bury my nuts and then fall asleep in a tree. When coming out of surgery, I said to my mum, you have big boobs. Then I grabbed one. Before my mum even got in the door of the recovery room, I shouted, this is better than the best weed I've ever smoked. Her jaw hit the floor. I also said, I have so many things to tell you. And my roommate thankfully shut me up and Immediately, I texted my friend. I don't know what this means still today. In doctor. Get jiggy. A text exchange after I woke up from anesthesia. I tried so hard. I thought I did better than this. I am so out of it. I cannot talp. Well, oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> I hope can stay bitten longer, tiny. I don't think I can get up. This text brought to you by anesthesia. I'm a high. Holy fuck. I'm so fucking out of it. And I can battle gov gook fug and my likes. I'm not even going to a tutor nav and change this. Awake? The fine. Vibe. Dive. Done. Long struggle. Sleep medicine. Went under anesthesia and told my mum to take my phone beforehand, but she thought it was cute that I wanted to text my girlfriend that I was okay. This was the resulting message. Hi, baby. I miss and just came of loot. Yet yeah, is, sir. 993. Two were me. I don't know how. Rog methodjuckums. Budget. Miss you. You e Mount lover. Swear kajinks. Good night. Anyway, so where were we? Nice Cat the Week's Billy. Despite being a recent owner surrender, he's still a love bug and loves to rub up against volunteers and staff. Naughty Cat of the Week, old Barnacle, got chew all over himself and his roommates by bonking his head into it instead of licking the treat. Barnacle! Barnacle! Nice Cat of the Week, Bulma, has been a huge comfort to her kitty friends after one of their roommates passed away. Naughty Cat of the Week's Hubbard was chosen to represent Heaven on Earth on a live stream and spent the time biting and sassing Tony while she was trying to talk. A Hubbard was having none of the bullshit, obvi. One icon, to be honest. Nail polish emoji. Yeah, go Hubbard. Don't let no ho talk over you. Nice cat of the week, Sibelius. He started opening up to volunteers and accepting more love and pets. <laughs> Not so shy anymore. Naughty cat of the week, Georgie. A hissy missy that promises to be better next time. Georgie is innocent. I'm her lawyer. My client will not be answering questions at this time. Nice cat of the week, Alvin. Has been patiently waiting for his forever home since August. He's also super soft. Naughty cat of the week, Walden. Ankle biter extraordinaire. I was not prepared for Walden's photo. As of duck ducked. Handsome and perfect. Nice cat of the week, little girl. Alvin's nice cat of the week last week, sister. Who is just as sweet and just as adorable as him. Naughty cat of the week, is still Walden. Walden, ankle biter extraordinaire, and has moved up to elbows. I love Walden's sass. It's always the black cats that are naughty. Oh, that sounds a bit generalised to me. Well, we're here now with Bamboo. Bam, any thoughts on these allegations? Ow! Ow! Well, there we go. Uh, nah, that wasn't fair journalism. I'd been playing with him and there was a storm out. He is usually, of course, the sweetest of gents. Nice Cat of the Week, Lumen, has done an impressive job with harness training and let the staff clip her nails with zero drama. Naughty Cat of the Week's bow has been bullying other cats in the senior room when they try to eat. Food aggression at its finest. Totally would get the Naughty Cat. I too like to bully seniors out of meals. Naughty Cat of the Week, Mystery. Stole food from Bo's enclosure. And Petra's. And probably ate all the breakfast too. Also Naughty Cat of the Week, Arthur escaped his harness and ran down the hall to hide under a bank of cages. It took three people to get him out. Well, they don't seem guilty to me. They're innocent. They're just babies. Analog sad face emoji. Oh, I know. Well, don't worry. Arthur got a new owner very soon after this. Wait, that's fucking Seth MacFarlane. Nice Cat of the Week, Gracie. Well behaved in foster home? Check. Perfect Angel as off his kitty. 
Naughty? Check. Looking for a home? Double. Check. Naughty Cat of the Week, Gracie. Why won't you let me love you? Please tell Gracie I love her very much and her death glare only makes me love her more. Nice Cat of the Week is Noah. Has been a sweet and outgoing guy all week. Tested positive uh, for being cute. Naughty Cat of the Week. Goldie and Sweetie. <laughs> Started a turf war in Shadows Haven. What's that, a turf war? Heart emojis! Nice cat of the week, Milkshake's been keeping all the ringworm quarantined cats entertained with her cute antics. Naughty cat of the week, ah! Oh, what have you done now? Wax Leroy on the head while breakfast was being served? Not Barnacle again! Barnacle again! Free my man, Barnacle! Nice cat of the week, Leo's everyone's favourite cuddle bug, and also the vet says his diabetic levels are the best she's ever seen. Naughty Cat of the Week, Bessie, terrorises young children for no reason. Also, Tony, age 33. Bessie's got that and I regret nothing look. Tony's overreacting. Nice Cat of the Week, Inchworm, graduated from Ringworm and is celebrating by saying hello to everyone who walks by. Naughty Cat of the Week, Pineapple, bullies Jocelyn when she tries to clean her cage but is nice to everyone else. Jocelyn's clearly the problem. Too much with all that cage cleaning. So ask to get bullied. Is that it coming for a while now, to be honest? Take care of your own shit, Jocelyn. Pineapple emoji! Nice cat of the week is Oscar. Has been very sweet and polite in his foster home, including being tolerant of the annoying resident cat that likes to chase him around. Naughty cat of the week, that's callow. Attack to human Grace because she tripped and startled him. Tell Grace to quit tripping. Put Grace on the naughty list for scaring the cat. Damn it, Grace! Callow was completely justified. You know, callow means a skull in Finnish. Skull emoji! Love Willy Cats. Nice cat of the week is Chin Chin. Chin Chin's been setting the vibe this week. Chill and cosy. She loves to burrow under blankets and snooze the afternoon away. We're jealous, but still love her. Naughty cat of the week is Katie. Do not let this adorable face and sweet demeanour fool you. Katie uses her slim frame and stealth skills to sneak out of her room and roam the halls. Nobody puts Katie in the corner. Hashtag free Katie. Black heart crying cat. Katie can have a little jailbreak as a treat. Meanwhile, the nice cat gets comments like, is no one going to tell them that chin chin is Japanese slang for penis or nice cat of the week where Maxie's been serving spectacular loafs all week. Naughty cat of the week. Mr. Opossum snuck in the TNR trap in a parking lot and ate all the cat food when he got stuck. He was quickly released. Mr. Opossum looks sorry for his crimes. He looks like he's about to cry, OMG. No, he looks so embarrassed. My boy ain't do nothing. It was me. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Racist. Yeah, Mr. Opossum has to eat too. Please, no, he feels so bad. I'd like an adoption form for Mr. Opossum, please. I can provide endless snacks and will allow him to scream at own ass as often as he'd like. Meanwhile, comments on the nice cat. <laughs> Maxi looks like the Finnish actor Yuka Razila. Well, we're here talking with Bamboo. Bam, any thoughts on the allegations? It's been too gentle now. Right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, we're here now talking with Bamboo. Bam, any thoughts on the allegations? Yeah. Well, we're here now with Bamboo. Bam, any thoughts on these allegations? Hey. Any thoughts on these allegations, Bam? Okay, ready still filming? Yeah. Well, we're here now with Bamboo. Bam, any thoughts on these allegations? Apparently not. <laughs> 